I'm Glenn McGrew, and today I'm going to do a little review of two different kinds of soy milk. First of all, we have the Simply Nature Vanilla Soy Milk. Now, this brand, I like the flavor of it, um, and it is organic and non-GMO. It has also got six grams of soy powdered protein. I'm not sure how I feel about that, when, but at least it's got protein in it, right? And then West Soy, which is a plain and low-fat soy milk. This is organic. Um, it is not GMO, but it is organic. And we're going to discuss some of the differences between the two of them. Now, I'm going to put on my glasses so I can actually read. If we look at the ingredients, they both use filtered water. They both use organic soybeans. Um, and they both use, uh, or, well, they have uh, organic evaporated cane syrup in the West Soy, and in the Simply Nature, they use organic sugar, but they don't specify. Um, there's, West Soy has tricalcium phosphate, which I'm not so excited about, but, um, yeah, I don't see that in here. They both use, um, well, they both have vitamin A palmitate. They both have vitamin D2, but the Simply Nature also has riboflavin, which is B2, and vitamin B12, which the West Soy, sadly, does not seem to have, although it should, because you need those to substitute if you're not eating meat or dairy or eggs, uh, milk, fish. So I um, want to point out one thing. The reason I don't use the, the Simply Nature is because it has a non-food additive called carrageenan. Um, a lot of, of the milk substitutes and even chocolate milk these days either uses carrageenan or different kinds of gums, like gallon gum, guar gum, xanthan gum. The better ones will use locust gum or gum of Arabic, um, but most of them go for the cheaper stuff. And unfortunately, the cheaper stuff tends to create gastric problems for people. I'm one of those people. So what I figured out I was uh, lactose intolerant. Then I figured out I was wheat or gluten intolerant, but I was still having problems with... That was my clock, sorry. I, I'm st I still had problems with gas and diarrhea. And I, re I discovered through a process of trial and error that it was the gum inside of the soy milk and the other kinds of milk substitutes that I was using. So even when I would look for a non-soy al alternative, like coconut milk or flaxseed milk or rice milk or uh, any of the other ones, I, uh, I tried a few others, um, they all had the same problem. They either used, almost always, used gum and or carrageenan, which I couldn't tolerate. So I was kind of frustrated. And I, I actually, you know, I we get this at Aldi. And, I, and this is $2.29 for um, a half gallon. And I get the West Soy at Dollar Tree for a buck. And that is uh, a quart. So... It's a little bit cheaper than the, uh, the Simply Nature. Um, but I even complained to Aldi and I said, hey, you know, I've got a problem with carrageenan and gum and you guys, all your milk substitutes have it. And they said, well, we'll check into it. But yeah, it hasn't been resolved. So I don't buy any of the milk substitutes at Aldi because they'll bother me and <coughs> make everybody suffer because I have the, the, the gas that I pr will produce is going to be very, very, very nasty. Okay, really, you can ask my, my family. <laughs> it's not good. Anyways, um, so what I'm going to do now is I just want to do a little quick comparison of a couple other things here. Um, in the West Soy, they only use six grams of sugar for uh, one, one cup. And that is also known eight ounces. Or for those of you on metric, that's 240 millilit milliliters. The... Simply Nature, on the other hand, for the same quantity uh, or volume, uses 8 grams. So it has 2 grams more, which I assume is uh, probably because they've got other things added in, like the, uh, the B2 and the B12. 
Um, but I don't know. Um, other than that, they both have protein. Now, the West Soy only has 4 grams, and the Simply Nature has 6 grams. So, Simply Nature is a plus on that side. Um, so, let's see. Vit uh, as far as vitamin A, West Soy has 5% more at 15%. Uh, vitamin C, they're the, oh, sorry, uh, the, neither of them have any. Uh, they both have the same amount of calcium, 30% of your daily intake. Um, they, the West Soy has 2% less iron at 4%, which is good for males who are past puberty. We don't need a lot of iron unless we're donating blood regularly. Uh, it's bad for the heart. Um, as far as vitamin D, uh, the, the Simply Nature has 5% more at 30%. Um, and then for the, the only thing that the West Soy has that the Simply Nature doesn't is the, is um, phosphorus. It has 20%. On the other hand, Simply Nature has folate, 6%, uh, riboflavin, 30%, vitamin B12, 50%, magnesium, 10%, zinc, 4%, and selenium, 8%. So if you're looking for more vitamins, you know, if you have got a poor diet, especially if you're not eating any sources of uh, the, the B vitamins that come from animals, uh, you you might want to look at the Simply Nature. Um, now, uh, the one other thing I wanted to look at is how much fiber they've got in them. Unfortunately, this is where the, uh, the West Soy also falls short. It has less than 1% of your daily needs. Whereas the um, Simply Nature has two grams. So one gram, less than one gram versus two grams. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to remind you that whenever you buy a milk substitute and even the, orga the, um, the milk that is lactose free, it does say on the instructions that you're supposed to shake them. And this is because there is a precipitate in there. In the case of the organic milk, I would, or sorry, the uh, milk without lactose. Um, they probably put lactase in it and that kind of settles down to the bottom. So you need to shake it up really, really well. And the same is true of the Simply Nature. So Simply Nature is a little bit bigger. So I'm going to just hold them together like this, cheat a little bit. Shaking up really nice so they look really, really attractive when I pour them into these lovely glasses. Would you please focus on the glasses, honey? Thank you. My son is the camera boy today. So we're going to start with the West Soy. Oh, look at that. Isn't that nice looking? I'm just going to put it to the line. Okay. Now, if you're going to go for flavor, I'm going to tell you right now, the Simply Nature tastes better because it has vanilla. Although my son, who is a chocolate cereal fanatic, doesn't like it with his chocolate cereal. Okay, so if you look at them, you can see that the color of the Simply Nature is slightly darker than that of the West Soy. And you can also see that there's a, more foam produced by the uh, Simply Nature. D did you want to say something? Go ahead. Um. Say it. Huh. I know. I'm going to. That's why I poured it. Okay, he doesn't want to say anything. He's feeling shy today. Usually he wants to be on camera, but not this time. All right, so you can see that both of them have produced foam, but in the case of the West Soy, there isn't that much foam, really. In the case of the uh, Simply Nature, there is a lot of foam, and actually it looks like there's two layers. I can see a layer here, and another layer starts here. Okay, so I'm going to start with the West Soy. Now, for some reason, and I don't understand why, um... Soy milk in America, if it's plain, doesn't taste that great. Um, when I used to get soy milk at the market in Indonesia, it had a, it was sweetened, of course, and uh, you could get it unsweetened, but um, I would get it sweetened, and the guy would have uh, what they call simple sirup, which is basically they take uh, white sugar or pure sugar and then they uh, um, dissolve it in water. And so he would add a few scoops to, to the milk. And it would taste very nice, this milk. So, 
First, the smell is, um, it's a little bit strange, but so is the flavor. So, I, I know. I prefer this taste over the taste of, say, rice milk, which has a kind of a washed out flavor to it. Um, it's not unpleasant, it's just, I prefer it if they would add like a vanilla to this or something to, to add to the flavor. So let me give it another taste. And there is a bit of an aftertaste to it. Um, but then again, milk has a flavor. In fact, I knew Indonesians who didn't like milk because they claimed it tasted fishy. And sometimes some of the brands in, in Indonesia, at least, did have kind of a fishy flavor to them, although I don't know why. Okay, well, now let's try the Simply Nature. As you can see, there's still lots of foam. Now, I think maybe it wasn't actually two layers, I think, but it, it, it may, well, maybe two layers. Yeah, two layers. It, it seems like um, the possibility also exists that it could just be the layer um, that the light is only able to pre penetrate so far, but it does look like there are two layers. Can you see that through the camera or not? Yeah. Okay. All right, so let me try this one. Okay, so the vanilla that's in here, I can taste the vanilla. I can also taste the original soy flavor. Um, so it does have a, a more pleasant taste than the West soy. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's nicer tasting, but again, uh, because of the carrageenan, I'm going to suffer a little bit for having done that taste test, but that's okay. All in the name of helping you guys. I've tried several different brands. I really like Soy Dream um, and Silk, and there are a few others that I've tried that I really like as well. Most of the brands these days that produce uh, these milk substitutes do a pretty good job of making the taste tolerable, if not wonderful. Um, but again, most of them use gum and or carrageenan. Even milk with chocolate in it now often has one or both of them in it. That I do not understand. Um, okay. One significant difference between milk here and milk in Indonesia is, is often the brand name milks that are sold have sugar added to them. And I think that's because children tend not to like the milk as much if there's not sugar in it. So it's kind of a... A technique to improve the the audio, the market segment that they get, but it's not nearly as popular in Indonesia as it is here. But it's it's gaining ground. Okay, so uh, so to conclude, if you're looking for more vitamins um, and more fiber and more protein, the um, Simply Nature is the best choice. If you are, on the other hand, uh, going for or trying to avoid gum and carrageenan. West Soy is one of the few brands that I found. I think I found one or two other brands that were organic as well and did not use carrageenan or gums, um, but unfortunately I don't remember. I do recall that they were fairly pricey, um, but uh, some of the more expensive brands do use them. So it, it, is it, it isn't about price. Um, you're just gonna have to look for yourself. And if you notice after using say Silk or, or, or Soy Dream, that you're having problems with gas or diarrhea, then you should look at the possibility of finding West Soy or one of the other ones that don't have those additives in them. Um, but you know, for cereal, uh, they're both good for, I use my West Soy to make smoothies from strawberries and from uh, avo avocado and um, bananas, uh, blueberries, Whatever I find at the um, the, the Aldi, uh, which is usually where I shop, um, because Pick and Save is overpriced, even though they say where Wisconsin goes to save. Um, yeah, so if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to put them down below. Please don't forget to subscribe. Click on that bell next to the subscribe button in case you want to get notifications about other videos that I put up. And um, also, like it for me, would you please? Thank you.